I've been delayed on getting this project done, Project Pork Chop, but I'm getting closer. I have the frame completely stripped down, or well, almost stripped down. I'm down to this, the bottom bracket. And before I even get to that, let me tell you about the delay. You know, there's not been many new analog bikes, non-e-bikes that have been coming out big box wise. This pork chop, I mean, this Durham, this is an older frame, even though it's new to the channel, it's an older frame. It's been out for, I know, at least a year, at least I'm pretty sure it has, to make it in 24, 26, and 29. This is the 26. But let me tell you, there is e-bikes. That's mostly all that's coming out. So I've been seeing so many and I have a lot in the queue. So it's going to be a lot of e-bikes this early riding season. Hopefully we'll have some analog bikes coming in here. If not, I can just do stuff like this. Project builds, even though I was up in the air about this one. But this bottom bracket, I'm actually going to have to take this down to the local bike shop. Because oddly enough, I, I don't like this old cheap cup and cone bottom bracket style. And oddly enough, I don't have the notch tool that removes these. And I tried the old chisel and hammer method. And as you can see, I'm just kind of eating away at this. Used a good heavyweight hammer. So waiting on the bike shop to open, which is in the next few minutes. I'm going to run this down. Let them just pull this out. However, I want to mention something. You know, I like these budget bikes. I mean, that's the main focus of this channel. Affordable cycling, even bikes with a frame doodle built on. So I really do like these budget bikes for what they are. I mean, they give people something to ride. I've mentioned this a million times. Most of our first bikes were budget bikes for many of us. So they hold a dear place in my heart. And I've done a lot with them. Some of my excellent project builds. However, I will call them out when there is something that I don't like. And in the case of this Durham, I'm on the Mongoose Durham 26er. I'm stripping this down. I want you to listen. I know there's a lot of background noise, but I think you're going to be able to hear this. Can you hear that? Let me turn my mic around so you get the full audio reality of it. That, my friends, in case you didn't figure it out, that's not a good sound. That means this is dry as a bone. And not only that, got a lot of play in there. So it's not even properly tight. They didn't even, from the factory, snug this down proper. So this, oh wow, a lot of lateral play there. I would have worn this out in no time had I have decided to just stick new pedals on this and then ride. So just note that sometimes, even though I think Mongoose is making great bikes, Schwinn making great bikes right now, sometimes. It's not all sunshine and rainbows, so I just want to share that with you. And that's why you really need to learn your bike and go over your bike before you ride it. Don't just trust that it's been assembled properly. Make sure that it is properly lubricated, everything is properly torqued, and then you can have some fun on your bike and have good longevity out of it. Because even though I don't like this setup, it's been around for eons, well, at least decades. So this actually does work if it's properly lubricated and maintained and properly tightened, set up properly. Don't get that. That's what you don't want. That's what this video is about. Just share with you that sometimes there are misses. And in the case of this Mongoose Durham, it's a good thing I started taking it apart. And I'm back from the bike shop. Look at that. Got it off. No problem for them. They didn't even charge me. Normally that would have been 10 bucks, but I'll take free. But I thought I would take a moment to show what we already knew that this wasn't greased from the factory. I mean, there's technically some oil on it as well as you'll see here in just a second. The usual metal shavings. See all those metal shavings? That's not from the bearings. That's actually, can you still see that? Yeah, down in the bottom bracket there. That's where apparently they don't clean those out after they cut the threads into the bottom bracket. But that is leftover residual shavings. The bad part about that is it's in here with even, luckily these aren't loose bearings, so that's good. They're cage bearings. But those metal shavings get into these bearings. That, look at that. See that one? Look right there. There is a huge aluminum shaving right there on this bearing, even though it's a steel bearing. 
still these are supposed to be properly tensioned and that's going to wear on it over time but they're technically this isn't dry uh, only on the technical sense in the technical sense but it's like there's just a light coating of oil it's not any actual grease probably just the oil from whatever 50 gallon drum or whatever they have these bearings in when they pull them out to put all this together so in essence dry which it should not be these should have a nice coating of grease this should be very well greased while i had this at the bike shop i had them weigh the frame so just take a guess what this aluminum frame on the mongoose durham 26 weighs i'll tell you actually before i do let me tell you this still has the headset cups in it they took the seat post off it still has the seat post clamp it still had the brake caliper mount for the rear and the kickstand but that's roughly about half a pound so this weighed five pounds even take all those items off and we can get to roughly 4.5 pounds give or take a, an ounce or two in either direction so four and a half pounds on this small aluminum frame a little more than i would like but that's what it weighs so if you guessed four and a half you would have guessed correctly and because inquiring minds will want to know i'm going to add this bottom bracket measurement it's actually 68 millimeters i'm trying to reach around the camera doing the best i can but 68 millimeters what about the rear spacing 135 dead on usually they're a 0.1 or a 0.2 off but this one right on 135 and there you go bone dry on the bottom bracket other than just a little coating of oil which again we already knew going by the sound from earlier but i hope this video helped you out if it did give it a thumbs up and also if you haven't already i hope that you subscribe to this channel lots of good content lots of e-bike stuff coming and more project builds and so on thanks for watching kev central and have a great day